Okay, there's probably a number of these floating around, but this effect is uh, my version. And it's just called Shapes, version 2. This is an effect, by the way, not a generator. When you drag it on the clip, you get three on-screen controls. You get one for the shape, and two to control the gradient, so that you can actually just do this right on the screen. Now, the two controls for the gradient are not determined by where the shape is no matter where the shape is it's the relationship to each other that creates the gradient so you can actually just drag these around anywhere and just figure that this gradient is somewhat infinitely large and will cover the shape no matter what size it is and there's a turn control here uh, you can affect uh, the layout on the screen and then we'll go over the rest of these parameters over here you have all of these different shapes that you can choose you get one shape at a time the diamond is kind of redundant it's just a smaller square and rotated already let's just work on the square for right now you can blend it into the background with any of these blend modes so that you have different kinds of looks with this. Shapes that have sharp corners can be rounded off. So if you went to like the pentagon, you can round the tips. The default mode for this is to have the fill as a gradient, but you can also fill as a solid color. And if you set this fill to a color, then you have the fill color and opacity that determine how this looks. And the two on-screen controls will have no effect whatsoever on this shape. That's these are simply for the gradient so going back to the gradient you can change the start color and the end color also note that when you rotate this that in the shape the gradient maintains its relationship to the vertical position of the shape. So you need to keep that in mind if that's important. But you can rotate uh, the position of the gradient with keyframes so that you can create something that will follow a rotation if you wanted to. You have a border color. And opacity and width. Uh, you can even animate the drawing on and taking off of the border as well if you want. You have the shape center here you can use to keyframe. Click that, move the playhead. Move the playhead first. Set the keyframe, move the shape. There you go. You can scale horizontally and vertically with the shape scale, or you can just scale the width, scale the height. These are the rotation controls uh, this control this on-screen control right here that is the Z rotation but you can also rotate on the X axis and the Y axis
and you have drop shadows. And there you have it. Okay, there you have it, it shapes. I hope you find it useful. You can download it from the link in the description. And I'll catch you on the next one.